If, in fact, there isn't an imminent uh, hazard or a risk of imminent danger, and it looks like... Um, well, you got 27 fish kills in Prince Edward Island. Well, we're back to the Prince Edward Island issue. Well, and we know that that's a local matter. issue, and... But W5 has found this is not merely a local issue. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has also begun to phase out the use of azenfos methyl on potato crops, claiming it has killed hundreds of thousands of fish in the United States. Farmers say that there's, there are safer substances being used in the States. Mm -hmm. They'd like to use them here. Yeah. Is that the case? 65% well, of the um, reduced risk uh, pesticides that are registered in the U.S. are available here in Canada. So 35% are not. That's right. One has to realize that it's the pesticide companies that have to submit the pesticides to us. The companies look for markets. Uh, Canada tends to be a very small market in the world. There is surprisingly little data on the impact of pesticides on humans. Dermatologist Dr. June Irwin is one of the very few physicians who have conducted independent studies. And she has found high levels of pesticides in the body fat of some patients. Now, I have heard government authorities saying, don't worry, they only, they're only they gone by 48 hours, but they have to go through your kidneys, your liver. I mean, don't worry. Yes, worry. We need to worry. Can you state unequivocally that the chemicals that are used today, the pesticides, are, are safe, absolutely safe when it comes to human health? Um... Every pesticide, uh, when they were registered, were assessed for human health and environmental safety as well as efficacy. Uh, the whole point of the reevaluation program is to review all of the pesticides that were registered historically and ensure that they meet modern safety standards. So is that a yes or a no? Are they safe or not? The answer is we're going to reevaluate them. So you're not sure? You're, you, you have to have these tests to find out if they're safe? Well, we have to uh, reevaluate the products to see if, in fact, they meet modern standards. Because many of these haven't been tested in, what, 20, 30, something like 40 years? There may be some that are very old, yeah. We were also surprised to learn that Wendy Sexmith's department, the federal agency that regulates pesticides, gets 25% of its funding from pesticide manufacturers. But we're talking millions of dollars, what, eight, nine mm. million yes. dollars perhaps a year? About eight. It's around eight. That you rely on for funding from the companies that you regulate. Well, it's eight million dollars that we, we get as part of our budget. Don't you see that as a conflict of interest? No, not at all. It's not a, uh, um, a fee for service in that it's not a fee for a registration. It's, uh, it's, the, uh, it's a fee for an application for review and evaluation. Um, we make positive and negative decisions. Not only that, all pesticide testing is done by the manufacturers, and no results can be released without the permission of the companies themselves. The information that is gathered mm -hmm. in the studies is basically secret. It's up to them. They don't have to release it. Well, Currently. well the, the, both of those things that you said are true. If what you're asking me is, can the public at this point in time, and I, I, mean, I mean that very broadly, um, look at the studies, the specific exact studies that, that, that's what I'm asking that you. have been produced by the company, uh, the answer currently is no. So if the so, public wants to see any of this stuff, Well, the specific you can't do studies it. we're not allowed to give out right now without permission from the registrant. Isn't that a, a, an incredible transparency problem? Well, you're, you're the government. It's a fact. And um, as I said, government is looking at um, changing that if that's in fact possible. Ottawa is now reviewing the safety of some 400 chemicals used in pesticides across the country, a process that'll take years to complete. Until then, consumers are being asked to trust the government and the pesticide manufacturers trust that these chemicals are safe.